better start running for your damn life. The fuck you doing next to the beach? It's about to be a 400 foot wave coming your way. You know, I woke up today and uh, no one was in town. Like literally just me. And then I was going to go do a day on the beach and there's no water. I don't really know why that is. There also seems to be a pretty tall shadow in the distance. Approaching me pretty quickly. All the birds seem to be flying away. Don't know why that is. Oh, my mom's calling me. What do you mean? What's a tsunami? Five minutes? I'm gonna die. Really? This is you in 20 years, Max. 20 years?! You think I'm going to look like this at 41? What 41-year-old looks like this? No one. I look 90. Not 90. 75. I think I'll be a bad, maybe a bad 70. Okay? Not 41. This is awful. This is me now. You think in 20 years I'm going to look like that? pain it's just a hollow plastic bowling ball that was an actual fucking 12 pound bowling ball and that smacked him in the head you would be looking like a looney tunes cartoon character that got smacked with a mallet where their teeth are all out and their fucking head smushed he would die I used to have an extreme fear of sneezing more than twice because somebody told me that your heart stops when you fucking sneeze. Come to find out, that's just fucking cap. Your heartbeat changes, but it doesn't fucking stop. Swear to God, I had like 45 old people tell me stories about some dude that sneezed 10 times and fucking died. Come to find out, either that's cap or he had a fucking heart attack. How many Kraken ads am I going to see on this fucking app? I don't know if this is a problem that other people are having, but every fourth video on my For You page is some dude promoing this fucking shotgun tool for fucking twisted teas and shit. It's for alcohol, but half the time people are shotgunning fucking sprites and shit. They get halfway through and give up and then say to go buy it. If you're gonna do the ad, at least use the product! And they'll try to make it nonchalant, like they're just hanging out with their friends. And they'll be like, oh, you want a shotgun? Oh, thanks, I have this Kraken tool. 40% off, link below. And then they fucking shittily shotgun a fucking beer in 25 seconds. Throw up, and the video ends. No, I didn't play throw your phone down the sewer grate when I was a kid because that would make no fucking sense. Even today, when I walk over one of these fucking things, I will take my phone out of my pocket so I can hold it out of fear that it'll just slip out and fall into the fucking grate and I'll never see it again. The greatest invention to battle these things is zipper pockets. Best invention of the fucking century. Best invention ever. You're going on a roller coaster. You don't need to put your phone down. Zipper pocket. Going over one of these things. Zipper pocket. Going fucking anywhere. Zipper pocket. Solves the problem. Also, I don't even think that's a real fucking phone. Right? She had it open and like flipped it. And it, it just stayed on the home screen. Like it, it didn't move. Ow, oh, from the creators of the Minions. Illumination Entertainment will not stop milking the ever-living shit out of Despicable Me and the fucking Minions. Despicable Me came out fucking 13 years ago. Give it up. And I'm not gonna lie, the Duck movie kind of looks pretty fire. I'm probably gonna go see it. It looks decently good. But, you know, 
You having to fucking shout out the fact that you made Dominions every time you come out with a new fucking movie, it makes me not want to watch the fucking movie. Why not say from the creators of Sing 1? Or Sing 2? Oh, I wonder why. Maybe because those movies were fucking flops and the Minion movie is the only graceful thing that saved this fucking godforsaken company. <gasps> the Duck movie looks good, though. I'm gonna go see it. Imagine being the only motherfucker on that plane that's not a Swifty. This guy doesn't want anything to fucking do with it, but he's just trying to read on his Kindle Fire. I feel like I'd be fighting for my fucking life. Imagine this is a three-hour plane ride. They got their fucking flashlights waving the entire time like they're in the concert singing. Oh, hell no. My girlfriend's a Swifty too. Brooke's a fucking Swifty. Bro, I don't dislike Taylor Swift. But if I'm trying to sleep on a damn plane at 2 a.m. and it's just fucking Taylor Swift songs playing for three hours, I'm going to start bashing my head against the wall. I'm going to open the fucking door. I'll show you guys how to kill a flat the right way. Let me angle this right so you guys can see it. You want to get it like this? I don't give a shit. What bird is that fucking wing from? That is as big as your head. That's not a chicken wing. That, like, that has to be an ostrich, or a goose, or some shit. Can somebody explain to me how this type of mudding is fun? Like, I get a mildly shallow mudding, right? Driving a go-kart through the woods, getting a bit dirty, that's fun, right? But you're fucking drowning your goddamn ATV purposefully getting yourself stuck and you're having the time of your fucking life and just how covered you are in mud i'd start fucking skitzing when it starts drying and you feel crusty and itchy ah! making that goat fall in love with you bro serenading that motherfucker it's falling for you all fun and games, you know, singing for the goat, filming a talk. Till that motherfucker charges you with his horns. For educational purpose, I am assess feeding this emerald tree boa that hasn't been eating. For educational purposes, I'm going to be force feeding a fucking rat down this snake's throat. I wonder why he won't eat it. Maybe try some goldfish. Maybe some fucking Doritos, not a hairy, cold, dead rat. You know, maybe nobody wants to eat that. Maybe the snake realized that's kind of gross. So now he wants some, some nice chicken, you know, something like that. Dinner time with Henry. Dinner time with Henry, that'll only be Henry eating. You go to the fucking bathroom before dinner, this man's just going to fucking lean over the table and eat your shit. He is taller than the counter. That is a massive problem with a dog. You can never leave food anywhere or things anywhere. You leave the house, he could just grab it on top of the fridge. He could, oh my God, he could grab treats on top of the fucking fridge. Where do you put everything? In a box? Look at a Henry, he looks like he's fucking 300 pounds. Could probably just break it open. How do you keep anything from this dog? A fucking touchpad? What did you fucking headbutt the window? How did you break the glass? Almost sure you'd be fine though because there's two layers of glass on most airplane windows. Maybe for this exact reason, I don't know. It looks like you broke through both though. But if you did, there would be a fucking air suction and you wouldn't be able to breathe. Maybe not, because it's such a small hole. I don't know. I just, uh, you know, you probably shouldn't break fucking airplane windows. Hey, guys, got the new custom ball sack face mask on Etsy. You are never going to wear that in public. It looks like it was made out of the material that a Halloween face mask is made out of. And that shit fucking reeks and is absurdly uncomfortable. 
and it's hairy. You're not walking into a fucking Walmart wearing that shit. Invention of the future, this shit's just peak laziness. Why are you gonna go on a goddamn surfboard if you're gonna fucking watch a soccer game? Just watch the soccer game. Now you can't even enjoy the fucking surfing or whatever the fuck this shit is. You need to see the game that bad and surf that bad at the same time? You can't just pick one or the other or alternate. No fucking way. I used to throw sandballs at my friends on the beach. You just threw a shit ball at your fucking friend. Oh, I mean, there's a chance that it's sand, right? There's a chance that it's sand. It's a low chance, right? It's probably poop. It Baby, what's wrong? <laughs> What is the fucking point of going to one of these places? You don't even have a good view. Like, I understand it might be kind of fun. I'm going to be shitting bricks that I'm going to drop my phone the entire time. I'll be mildly scared that I'll fall to my death. What if you have to take a piss? I said this in another video when I reacted to another one of these. There's so many goddamn problems. Why are you making your wife go on one of these if she fucking hates it? Why do women's pants not have pockets? Every time I hang out with Brooke, hey, can you hold my phone? Why? I don't have a pocket. You don't have a pocket. You're wearing pants. They don't have pockets. Why? It makes no sense. Every, every pant you have, every shorts you have, every pair of pants you have should have fucking pockets because you have items that you bring with you. Oh, that's what a purse is for. Or fucking pockets. You don't need to carry something that you're going to fucking lose. You just jam it in your pocket. Sometimes the pocket has a zipper. And then you can never fucking lose that shit. Those are the best. I had a pair of fucking soccer shorts once that didn't have pockets. I wore them to the gym twice. And then never wore them again. Because where the fuck do you put your shit? I gotta hold it? Like I'm like fucking loose change. Bro, that's gotta be a guy in a fucking suit. It looks like you can see it folding right there. Oh my god, it's actually a fucking bear. Why the fuck do sun bears look like that? From this angle, it just, it looks real, right? It looks like a weird bear. But this, bro, like it looks like that man's head is right there and he's got a fucking bear mask over him. But the fucking mouth moves and everything. That's just what sun bears look like. They look so weird. It looks like he's got fucking feet too. They, those ain't no paws. What the fuck is he gonna claw with that shit? I call this the Jinxie special. Now for the milk. Jinxie, you pour in the fucking milk first. Who the hell does that? And then he puts fucking five different cereals in the fucking bowl and loves that shit. Chicksy, none of those flavors fucking match. You got Fruit Loops and fucking Cinnamon Toast Crunch. What? You got Honeycombs, fucking Cinnamon Toast Crunch, Fruit Loops, and Lucky Charms all in one. There is no way that tastes good. And I forgot the Cookie Crisps. How many fucking cereals is that? Maybe mix like two. I feel like every, I feel like this would have been good if you just didn't add the fucking Fruit Loops or the Lucky Charms. It just it fucks it up. Anyone else have terrible short term memory? I put a beanie on two minutes ago to make a video. I don't even remember what the fuck I was gonna make a video about. But I ran up here, put the beanie on, said, "Let me make a video." I'm just sitting here with a fucking beanie now. I don't even remember. I have no idea what I was going to fucking talk about. I'm 21. I feel like I have the mental capacity of a fucking 90-year-old. I have to write everything down. If I have to do something in a, in a Pacific, in a specific day, I have to write that bitch down or else I'm going to fucking forget it. 
I could be mid-conversation and fucking forget what I was going to say. Two minutes into talking. Bro's eating the bugs out of his damn hair! And it is extra protein. Also kind of a mini farm on your head, you know? You let them live there, scrape off half of them, let them reproduce, scrape off half more. It's just infinite protein. Uh, but also kind of disgusting. <laughs>